Hi, it's Mike at Balsamic. We did a release of Balsamic wireframes for Google Drive recently, and we need to add a little onboarding messaging to the right side panel that you get when you open up uh, our add-on um, to add a wireframe to your slides. So I'm going to do a little uh, wireframe to uh, propose some messaging we can put in that panel. So let's get started. Okay, so Andrea sent me this uh, animated GIF showing what happens after you add Balsamic wireframes to Balsamic slides. You get a blank uh, side panel here, and we need to add some messaging there. So I'm going to create a little wireframe um, for the panel, and I'm just going to draw a panel that's about the same size as that, um, as that right sidebar. So I did a quick draw of a rectangle and resized it, and now I'm just going to create the, uh, the top of the panel with the search area. Make it about the same height. And then I'm going to duplicate it because we have um, two boxes there, one for the title of the panel and the second one for the search box. So make that gray. And then add the search box. And then I think it was rectangular, so change the shape. Uh, and then add this label search in Google Drive. So this is the area that you're going to get um, where you can look for one of your wireframes uh, that you've created um, and then add them to your slides. I also have an icon here to um, refresh this panel. Okay. And then we have just the header, the heading for this panel, which is going to say balsamic wireframes. Make it all bigger. Okay. Okay, so this is looking like the, um, the, the blank sidebar now. Um, we need a close uh, icon to just close this panel. So we have an X here, make it white reverse it against the dark heading. Okay, and what else we got to put in here? Uh, let's change the title, right? And now we need the big um, add icon that appears in the bottom right of the panel. And this is that material design style um, icon. So let's make that a plus. Group this and lock it. And then we can start to wireframe the, um, the messaging that we want to put in the blank column or the blank panel. So let's see. This is what we see when we have a blank slate in the editor. We see this, uh, this heading and then some description of what that area is for. So I want to do the same thing and just usually just have a uh, an illustration accompanying the text. All right, so I'm gonna paste in the text that we have in our help messaging as a little um, placeholder, to get started. Um, let's bump the font size up, and then I'm gonna put a, an icon above the text to just be a placeholder for the graphic that'll eventually go in there. Uh, so I'll just put this big smiley logo, I uh, mean icon, make it bigger. And then we'll work on this text a little bit. Okay, so this is just some copy just to let the user know that um, to get started, you need to create your balsamic wireframes project. And then once you've done that, um, the wireframes will appear in this panel. So, um, that seems like a good start. I'm going to drop in some a comment with some call outs just to um, indicate what we're um, putting in this panel. Um, so we have some kind of graphic and then the copy for getting started. And now I'm going to invite Andrea and Peldi to the project so we can comment on it um, here in cloud. And now I'm going to come back and uh, do some, uh, create a little mock-up of what I think we might want to put in this um, graphic.
graphic area and you know I think it should just look like a small representation of the the cloud panel and um, have a little um, you know um, arrow pointing at where you should look for the the plus icon to create your project uh, I'm gonna correct the um, comment here just to point out this is an illustration that you go up here um, yeah so maybe I'll add a little icon for what uh, you know this is one of these little small um, tiny representation of the panel so I'm gonna just put a little um, arrow pointing at you know this is where the add icon is so I'll just drop this in here um, make it stand out a little bit and then okay I think that'll point out where you should look and um, it should be good for now okay so um, <laughs> Andrea got the wireframes and he already went ahead and implemented this in Google Drive he um, uh, up created some uh, comments in here so that makes sense so he, he made some corrections to the um, what the messaging should say based on what the, the actual workflow is when you're using this so let's take a look at what it looks like in the what he implemented so here we go so now we have the um, he just copied the illustration that I mocked up and I'm gonna replace that with something better but he um, already implemented it and now when you get the blank slate you'll see this uh, getting started message. So I'm going to um, update this wireframe using this screenshot. Okay, so I made an illustration to replace the placeholder graphic, and I'm just going to put it into the wireframe um, with the screenshot of Andrea's implementation. Um, put this new graphic. Uh, where I think it should be positioned and then send it off to Andrea to replace and um, yeah then we'll come back take a look at how he uh, implemented it okay so Andrea implemented um, or put in the new graphic so we're gonna go back to Google Slides and um, I refresh the screen so we should now see the new graphic in the side panel and yeah here we go so it has the new uh, illustration with colors that match the um, the blue of Google Drive and um, it's looking pretty good so um, I think that does it we went from just a small requirement to put some kind of um, getting started message here and uh, it's looking it's looking pretty good to me thanks for watching